isatuximab, uh, which is another you know, anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. And I think in general, the more options we have, the better for our patients. Because you know, for pa you know, for, since multiple myeloma can be a complicated disease with different types of relapses, so I think the more types of options we have, I think it's a win-win for everybody involved. And you know, and the, the, the uh, ICARISTA was the first study, to dem the first randomized study to demonstrate the value of adding an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody to pomalidomide and dexamethasone. And I think certainly this, uh, this drug uh, will have, will see use for treating relapsed patients. And I can think of, you know, at this time we don't know if there's any specific difference between, you know, daratumumab versus isatuximab clinically. So I think any scenario that you would you think of using daratumumab, I think isatuximab could be another option. And I think, you know, in terms of one versus the other, I think there's not a specific clinical reason to necessarily pick one versus the other one. Though I think it's it's helpful that we have, you know, a phase three trial to show that the effectiveness of isatuximab with pomalidomide dexamethasone.